Welcome to my channel. I'm Teresa. In today's video, I'm going to show y'all how we can make some inexpensive, vintage inspired, French country, shabby chic farmhouse, some jars and some canisters. I'm also going to show you how we can make a really cute little umbrella hanging wreath. And I'm going to show you how we can make a really cute little this little bunny is very trendy these days. But anyway, I'm going to show you how we can make a really cute little distress hang tag. And I hope y'all get lots of inspiration and I hope you enjoy the video. If you haven't joined my Facebook Home Decor page, I'd love for you to go over and join it. And also go over and follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. Okay, the first project we're going to work on is going to be a really cute umbrella hanging wreath. Now, I've wanted to make one of these for such a long time, and I just kind of had the idea saved. Um, I, I think it was Pinterest inspired, but you basically want to take a long umbrella, and this is an umbrella that I've had for many years. Used to, Victoria's Secret was, you know, the big trendy place, and they would offer, if you bought $75 purchase, I think you always got a free gift of some sort. Well, one year, if you spent $75, you got this umbrella. So, of course, this umbrella came to me with that, with that purchase, and I have used it over the years many times. And I thought I had thrown it away at one, at one time, but I, I found it. It was in our, our truck, in the back seat of our truck. So I pulled it out the other day and I thought, you know what? I'm going to do that idea I've been wanting to do. So here it is. So if you have an umbrella, and a lot of times you can find these at thrift stores and, you know, uh, yard sales. But if you have an umbrella that's got a pretty handle, maybe a wood color, you won't have to paint yours. But I chalk painted my handle white in the tip because it was black. And I have shown these tulips and featured them in some of my videos. But these are in my Amazon store. I absolutely love these tulips. I want to get some more. They're absolutely beautiful. The pink ones, I think there's 20 pieces. The cream ones, there's 30. So I got a few more cream than I do pink. But I just gathered them. Uh, and then I stuck them down that umbrella and I secured it around with some hot glue. Once you stick your flowers down in there, your little Velcro strap around your umbrella won't reach around. Mine didn't. So I just reattached a little bit with a little hot glue, held them in there really tight, and I added a burlap, burlap bow. And here it is, y'all. This would make such a great embellishment piece for spring. You can hang this on your front door. You can hang it on your shutters. You can hang it on your old windows pretty much this piece would go just about anywhere and I'm, I'm really happy with the way it turned out and like I say I wanted to make one for so long and I finally made it so I hope y'all will make one too and remember you can use any kind of florals or greenery or flowers that you want and you know, just depending too on the color of your umbrella you know just just go with that theme and you can put any color bows on it that you want to Of 
next project is going to be a cute bunny tag. And um, I picked these up at a yard sale. There was two of them. They're kind of like a chalkboard type tag. And they're actually called to-do list. So I guess, you know, the whole point is you could just put this up as is. You could write on it, put your grocery list or your to-do list on it. But I thought it had such a great, you know, I like that black base on it. So it is perfect to candle wax candle wax it so we can distress it and chalk paint it and if y'all watch any of my videos y'all know this is the method I like to use to distress rub that candle wax on it and you can see it leaves that waxy residue put your paint on top of that let it dry a little bit and then you want to take a scraper I use a little plastic pampered shelf scraper and you just go around and distress in the areas that you want distress and see how easy that paint comes off and it gives it more of that chippy look that it does you know more of a sanded look so here it is I've got it distressed and then I'm going to take that really popular little bunny that we've been seeing everywhere I love Tim so I had to print him and do something with him and a lot of people have made stack books out of him put him on trays he's cute just about on anything i'll have the link to him below but he's out on the graphics fairy website and the, it had that a little wording at the bottom as you can see i even cut it out and there was a number two on it so i wanted that too i wanted all that details so i just cut around him and then also i cut cut out my words in the two Using some Mod Podge, I just applied him to the tag. Now I'm just going to show you a couple ways you can embellish this tag with with a bow. And I'm just making the crisscross messy bow. And I'm just showing you real quick. You know, you just take scrap pieces, uh, strips of fabric or lace or ribbon, and just assorted colors and patterns. And so I just got in, you know, my stash and just grabbed some. And I'm just kind of showing you real quick how you just kind of crisscross them. And then once you get them... Um, all laid down together then you just want to get them in the middle gather them up and then just tie them up and I'm using a piece of lace and that way the lace will just kind of blend in with the ribbons and the bows and then you just want to trim it up make it fluff it out and I was going to show you I, I put I ended up putting the bow around his neck made it a smaller one but you could also put the bow at the top so I kind of wanted to leave this in just kind of give you another option of how you can embellish your tag just to add a little bit more texture and color to it and, you know, of course, who doesn't love, you know, vintage inspired, you know, ribbons and lace. And I think he just, it just really um, brought him, brought him to life with, with the little spring colors. And here you can see I made a little small one and put just a little bit of a, a little embellishment in the center of it and just put it around his neck. I thought he turned out really cute. So many ways that you can use this little piece. You can hang it up. You can put it on a wreath. You can even put it on a tear tray. If you like this video so far, I hope you'll hit that like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd love for you to. I've taken all the advice there is and none of it has helped. I'm so tired of love songs. I'm sick and tired of love Okay, now I'm going to show y'all a thrift flip, and I featured these canisters in my yard sale haul a couple of videos back, and I'll leave a link to it down below, but I went to a yard sale, and I purchased these canisters in a bundle of stuff that I paid $8 for, so I paid little to nothing for these, so I took them outside, the weather's been nice here, and I just spray painted them with Rust-Oleum, uh, I think I did high gloss, um, or gloss spray paint and once I got them spray painted now I'm going to show you how we can just turn them into some like some vintage inspired crocs and I know a lot of the rage right now now is those IOD stamps and they're very hard to find and once you do find them they sell out so fast but y'all they're they're kind of expensive and then too you've got, still got to buy the ink for them but um so I'm going to just show you a more inexpensive way that we make and embellish 
to make it look like those IOD stamps, but we can just take free printables off of the Graphics Fairy, and I'm going to show you a few that I downloaded. I just cut around them. You don't have to cut all the paper off of them. Just cut the paper off around the edges as much as you can, and then I'm going to use some Mod Podge, and I'm going to apply each one to the front of my canisters, and then I'll show you how each one looks. But just once you get it on there, just work it around with your fingers. Make sure those edges are down really well. And to me, I don't know, decoupage, I enjoy it. Mod Podge doesn't like me, but I'm learning. I'm, the more I practice with it, the better I get with it. I learn the tricks and the trades of it. And here's another sheet of really cute little vintage inspired labels that is on the Graphics Fairy website. And I'll leave links to these down below. But I'm going to cut out two of these and I'm going to put one on the medium sized canister and also the little small one. And again, I'm just, I just cut around it as close as I could. And then I'm going to take some Mod Podge and apply it to the front. Now here's another really popular item that a lot of people got back, I don't know, a year or two ago when Dollar Tree featured these little milk um, pictures. And of course I grabbed one and they've been up in my craft room forever. And a lot of times on pretty days, I take advantage to be able to get outside and I will spray paint things. And sometimes I won't use the project right away, but I'll know that I do want it, you know, painted white. Well, one day I went out and I spray painted those bottles. And so... I figured out what I want to do to it. I thought those little vintage um, style labels would look really good on this. So I got it out of my, my supply um, pile and I just kind of went over that little um, that little raised um, embellishment at the top of it with a sanding block and kind of brought that out. And then I applied one of those labels to it. And I think it turned out really cute. So now you can use this to put some flower flowers in it, some florals you know, greenery, whatever you want to use it for. And I think it turned out really cute too. So just wanted to show y'all some ideas of how you can take some free printables and you can just really add that little shabby chic, little French country farmhouse look to things that you may have thrifted or things that you may have purchased at the Dollar Tree. I hope y'all enjoyed the, today's video and I hope you enjoy getting to see the ways that I brought to you, you know, how we can decoupage things and make things a little bit more inexpensive. The IOD stamps, I, I'm not going to say we're not going to buy them because we may, but until then, I'm still going to decoupage and get my free printables and just kind of wanted to show y'all some inspiration and some ideas on how you can use some free printables and some bottles or some canisters anything that you have you know just very inexpensive and how cute that they can turn out to decorate in your home so as always y'all i appreciate each and every one of y'all i love y'all and i will see y'all god willing in saturday's video